In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Power and Quotient Rules with Negative Exponents, Problem Type 2. We're asked to simplify this expression and to write our answer with only positive exponents. And we could either start inside the parentheses or outside the parentheses. And for this example, I'll start outside the parentheses, noting that everything inside is raised to the negative 2 power. And so I'll start by raising each component to the negative 2 power. So our 5 is just a 5 to the first power. And when there is a power inside and a power outside, we multiply. So 1 times negative 2, negative 2. For my x negative 1, I again have a power inside and outside that get multiplied. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. My y5 gets raised to the negative 2 power. And the powers again multiply. 5 times negative 2, a negative 10. Moving to the denominator, we have a 3. Again, the power is 1, and we would multiply the powers. 1 times negative 2 would be negative 2. Our y negative 5, the powers again multiply. Negative 5 times negative 2, a positive 10. And then lastly, our x negative 3, the powers multiply. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. So we've simplified by removing that outside power. And for the next step, I like to go ahead and make all of these powers positive by moving them if needed. So here the 5 negative 2 would move to the bottom as a 5, 2. The x squared is positive, so it would stay in the top. The y negative 10 would move to the bottom as a y 10. The 3 negative 2 would move to the top as a 3 squared. The y 10 would stay in the bottom. And the x 6 with a positive exponent would also stay in the bottom. So here I've just simplified by removing those negative exponents. I can continue to simplify. For the number coefficients, I can evaluate 3 squared is 9 in the numerator and 5 squared is 25 in the denominator. Now looking at the x's, I have an x2 in the top and an x6 in the bottom. And our rule is that whenever the bases are the same, we can keep that base x in the numerator. But I would subtract the exponents. So 2 minus 6 would be a negative 4. And then for the y's, they're both in the denominator and they're just being multiplied. So again, my rule is when I multiply with the same base, I keep that base, y, in the same location. And I add the exponents, 10 plus 10 would be 20. From here, the last simplification that I should make is since I'm told to use only positive exponents, I need to get rid of this negative 4 exponent. And I can do that by leaving everything else where it is. Everything else has positive exponents. The y negative 4 in the numerator would move to the denominator to be a positive 4, and this would be our simplified expression. 